Hey everybody, welcome to the Always Be Booked YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over some of the changes that were made on board Navigator of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's cruise ship that went under the knife and got refurbished in 2019 as part of the Royal Amplified program. If you guys like listening to podcasts, check out the Always Be Booked Cruise Podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. What we're going to do is start in the Royal Promenade and at the Bamboo uh, Room. Bamboo Room is a concept that Royal Caribbean created. It's sort of a Polynesian tiki type of place, but with an upscale feel. You can see the beautiful colors, the layout, a lot of time, effort, care, and thought was put into every inch of this really nice venue. Then we're going to take it over to Copper and Clover, which is the English pub. Everybody knows about the English pubs on Royal Caribbean ships. This version is a little bit sleeker. You might be used to more of a rustic feel from the English pubs on board Royal Caribbean ships, but they cleaned it up and did it right with this one. Then we're going to take it over to to dry for. This is a blow dry and hair cut place that you can go and you can get fed champagne while you get taken care of, while you get pampered. Uh, they do a great job. I actually got my hair cut there. It was fun. Great job in view of the whole promenade as well. Playmaker Sports Bar, very, very fun sports venue that they put in. Very, very uh, popular as well. A lot of people will gravitate in here. A lot of sports run. NBA playoffs are playing. Of course, you can get your cricket fix in. And uh, they have pool tables, foosball, and things like that. You could also get burgers and wings. We'll take it off the ship for a second and we'll go over to Coco K. Perfect day at Coco K. And uh, this is a island that has been theirs for a while but they refurbished that as well and put a ton of different things on there just like Daredevil's Peak. They have the water park where you know thrill seekers can ride a bunch of slides. They also have up up and away. You can see that tethered balloon up there right now. They also have some beautiful beaches. Tons of options for beaches as well. Uh, you can go to South Beach, uh, there's Coco Beach Club where they have the overwater huts and then you also have Chill Island where you can kind of relax and catch some rays as well. This place is beautiful, they did a great job with it. They also have uh, Oasis Lagoon which is the largest water, uh, I'm sorry, freshwater pool in the Caribbean. You can see it right there, swim up bar, view of the up, up and away as well. They also have a uh, zero entry point, so you can kind of walk in just like you're walking on the beach. All right, back on the ship. We're on the Lido deck right now, and you can see what they've done with the Lido deck with the different style decor, tons of colors, um, and uh, a beautiful, beautiful layout on the Lido deck. You can see the bar right there. This is a view from the top level. So you have a deck 11, 12, and 13. You're going to have the Lime and Coconut Bar, and that kind of is a little bit of a central meeting point. You just saw the bandstand. This is on deck 12. You can look across, and this is the actual bar itself. This took up a little space on the Lido deck, but I think it's well worth it because you have a very comfortable bar, very comfortable seating. Really a nice place to hang out. Also, the water slides. Don't forget about the water slides. Uh, you have the Blaster, which is an aqua coaster that hangs off the side of the ship. It's the longest water slide at sea. And the Riptide, more for the thrill seekers, a head first mat racer. They also have Hooked. This replaced Sabor. It gives you a ton of seafood items and options. Uh, you see they have the raw bar there. Who doesn't like a good raw bar while they're at, on a cruise? And then they also have the messy fish sandwich, which is a signature item that is really popular. Johnny Rockets Express on the Lido deck. You do still do have to pay for it. And then it's flanked on the other side by El Loco Fresh, which is a really delicious Mexican option. Tons and tons of burritos, tacos, nachos, very fresh. Grab and go. This is a free restaurant as well. And, uh, you know, it's all your fixings are right there. You could put uh, any, any options of salsa and uh, cheese, queso, stuff like that. It's delicious. So those are the refurbishments on board Navigator of the Seas. Hope you liked it. Also, again, uh, check out the Always Be Booked Cruise Podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. Hope you enjoyed the tour. We'll talk to you soon.